Prince Philip heartbreak, could big events celebrating the Duke of Edinburgh be cancelled? Prince Philip has been by the Queen's side for several months amid the coronavirus pandemic, but what big event in honour of the Duke of Edinburgh could be cancelled? Prince Philip, 99, worked within the royal family for decades until he retired in 2017. Since that time he has spent most of his time at Sandringham where he is said to enjoy spending time with friends, painting and enjoying his other interests. But what event designed to honour a huge milestone for the Duke of Edinburgh could be cancelled? Prince Philip spent the duration of the coronavirus pandemic self-isolating with the Queen at Windsor Castle. The couple travelled up to Balmoral in Scotland in August but have since travelled to Sandringham where they are expected to spend a portion of this month. The Queen and Philip will then travel to Windsor Castle as the royals do not have enough staff to live apart according to reports. A source told The Sun, Philip didn't want to go to Balmoral and doesn't want to go to Windsor. But there is not enough staff to make two bubbles so he is being made to go. It makes far more sense to keep them together. The Duke of Edinburgh has been seen but rarely since his retirement. However, Prince Philip did return to royal work briefly in August. He took part in the nationwide commemorations planned for the 75th anniversary of VJ Day on August 15. VJ Day is victory over Japan Day which commemorates the day on which Imperial Japan surrendered in World War II, in effect bringing the war to an end. To pay tribute to the veterans of World War II and VJ Day, the Duke of Edinburgh featured in a special montage paying tribute to the veterans of the conflict and remembering all those who did not return. Prince Philip was shown alongside an image of himself during the Second World War. On VJ Day, Japanese officials signed their surrender to the Allied forces on board the USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay, which was the moored neighbor of Prince Philip's warship HMS Welp. The now 99-year-old previously said he could see the ceremony from his warship using binoculars. The next big event likely to involve the Duke of Edinburgh at the centre will be his 100th birthday next June. He celebrated his 99th birthday on June 10th of this year and will commemorate his 100th in 2021. MPs have started debating how to mark the important milestone and so far. One politician has earmarked the date for a very special event. The Conservative Party MP for South and West, Sir David A. Mess, said a competition to name a new city within the UK was being looked at as a means to mark the Duke of Edinburgh's birthday. Sir David has been an MP since 1997 and he said he wished to make South End on Sea, a resort town on the Thames estuary in Essex with borough status, become a city. Sir David told the Commons, how does a place acquire city status? Well, there needs to be a contest, it usually takes place around a royal event. The Duke of Edinburgh is going to be 118 months time. He added, I am working on other royal events to see how we can fine-tune the timing. It would be great if it could happen next year, because it will be the centenary of the mayoralty of South End. However with the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, many royal watchers believe the event may be cancelled. It is assumed there would be major celebrations for Prince Philip's 100th birthday. For instance, in August 2000, the Queen Mother celebrated with a procession down the Mall and a Buckingham Palace appearance. However, if crowds are not permitted to gather by next June these plans may need to cancel. Following recent rules such as the Rule of Six, which are expected to last well into next year, plans are already being put on hold, and other events are being cancelled many months in advance. The royal family is unlikely to want to encourage large crowds to gather and as such, they are not expected to make any public appearances during the 2020 festive period.